Okay, in previous videos I reviewed the actual price paid by freelance translators for mainstream CAD tools and uh, by actual price I mean the real price as opposed to the official list price. And I shortlisted four CAD tools as uh, mainstream CAD tools and these are SDL Tri Studio, MemoQ Translator Pro, Wordfast and Deja Vu. In this video, I will focus more on the total costs that uh, translators will end up paying over a longer period of time when taking into account items like maintenance and support. So let's start with the first tool, which is uh, SDL Trader Studio. And uh, here I'm talking about the freelance version, uh, not the professional intended for corporates. And uh, also I'm talking about freelance, uh, about Studio 2011 freelance alone without the old Trados, SDL Trados uh, 2007. So if you want to buy a new license for Studio uh, 2011, the list price at the moment is 400, uh, 845 euros, but that's a theoretical price. In practice, you can get it for much lower. And uh, at the moment, you can get it for 456 euros via pros.com. Now, SDL recommends that you buy what they call a PSMA, which stands for Premium Support and Maintenance Agreement. And this is a yearly fee that includes both technical support and maintenance. And for Studio Freelance 2011, the yearly cost of uh, this uh, agreement is 175 euros. They have in fact two levels of uh, PSMA, but I'm including the cheapest one here. Now, this is uh, something that you will have to pay uh, the remaining years. So the second year 175 and the next one also and so on. So every year 175 in order to get both technical support and maintenance, meaning upgrades to new versions whenever they are released. So over a six year period, you will end up paying 456, this discounted price for a new license, and six times 175, which is 1050 euros, which means that in total you will pay 1,506 euros for both the license and maintenance and support. So that's the first scenario with uh, Trader Studio. Now let's have a look at the second scenario in which you will again pay 456 for your initial license, but you will decide that uh, you don't want to pay for technical support. You are happy to get uh, uh, support uh, from the pros forum or the Yahoo mailing list and so on. And you only want to pay for the actual uh, upgrades. And here I'll make the assumption that um, based on the track record with Studio, it seems that SDL is going to release a new paid upgrade, not every year, but only every second year. So that was the case with uh, the first version of Studio. 2009 and uh, after that they had nothing in 2010 and now they had uh, 2011 and I'll assume that the next version of studio will be uh, 2013 and after that 2015 and so on. So we will pay next year will be 2013 and then we will have to pay the upgrade fee and here again I'll make an assumption based on what I personally paid for my upgrade from 2009 to 2011, and that was 202 euros. So I, I assume that it's the price that a new Studio 2011 user would pay for Studio 2013 next year, if and when it is released. Then I'll assume that next year there won't be any paid upgrade, and the next year there will be one and the next year nothing, and again uh, the next year another one. So during the six year period, I made the assumption that we will have three paid upgrades and we will pay about 200 euros each time in order to stay current. So in that scenario, 
we will end up paying 456 euros for the license itself and 606 for the upgrades which means that in total we will pay 1062 euros so that's the second scenario for studio now let's switch to memoq again i'm talking about the freelance version translator pro the list price is 220 euros but you can find it heavily discounted and at the moment there is a special campaign again on pros.com which is uh, 341 euros unlike sdl Kilgray does not charge for support and maintenance during the first year but starting from the second year they will charge a yearly fee of 20% of the list price of their product so 20% of uh, 620 is 124 and that's what you are going to pay the second year in order to get both support and upgrade to the latest version Kilgray has a track record of uh, releasing a major version every year so we have uh, memo q6 in uh, 2012 we had memo q5 in 2011 memo q4 in 2010 and so on so probably next year we will have memo q7 and in uh, uh, 2014 we will have memo q8 and so on so we will pay 124 again and again and again and for the fifth year again so over a six year period we'll pay 341 for the license itself and a total of um, 620 for maintenance and support so all in all we will end up uh, paying uh, 961 euros so that's the situation with memoq and with memoq you cannot really unbundle uh, maintenance and support if you want to stay current every year you will have to pay this uh, maintenance fee otherwise you will have to skip versions so to uh, uh, to be one version behind every second year for instance but that's not the assumption that we make here we assume that uh, we stay current during the the entire period of six years now let's move to the next tool which is wordfast and here we are looking at wordfast studio which includes both classic and pro which are two separate programs that you can either buy separately or together so here we assume that we buy them together and the list price of the bundle is 500 euros but again you can find it discounted and uh, at the moment you can find it for 325 again via pros.com and that includes by the way pros membership for one year and uh, online training as well like with memoq and unlike with sdl support is free for the first year and the second year it costs 60 euros again 60 euros if you want to have support and the third year you will have to pay a renewal for your license and the price of a renewal of a wordfast license is 50 percent of the list price of a new license so list price 500 half of that is 250 that's the renewal again for another three years and if you want support you will pay 60 the next three years as well so in total you will end up paying for the license and its renewal 325 plus 250 that's 575 and for support you will pay five times 60 and that is 300 so in total you will pay 875 euros if you don't want to have support then you will only pay 575 so you have this possibility with uh, wordfast now let's have a look at the last tool which is deja vu and deja vu is uh, really a very tricky case because you have to make a lot of assumptions first of all the list price of deja vu used to be very high it used to be until a couple of years ago it was almost 1000 euros 990 to be precise and when they introduced uh, deja vu x2 they decreased that list price to 690 and uh, this year they decreased it further to 590 
So that's the current lease price. But even that is also theoretical because they have had a lot of special offers and campaigns and so on. And right now you can get a Deja Vu X2 license for 250 euros. Atril claims that support for Deja Vu is free, so they don't charge anything here, unlike the other competitors. And regarding upgrades, again, it's difficult to say because Deja Vu has a track record of uh, having very few upgrades. So between 1999 and 2010 or 2011, I don't remember, they have had only three different versions, Deja Vu 3, Deja Vu X and Deja Vu X2. So here I'll make the assumption that they will have a paid upgrade twice in this uh, period. And again, I'll make another assumption based on what they are having in the offers. They are discounting also the upgrades. And at the moment, you can buy upgrades from older versions for 199 euros. So that's the price I will use here. And I will assume that during the six year period, they will have another paid upgrade. So I will put it, let's say here, 199. So over the six year period, with these assumptions, you would pay uh, in total 648 euros for your Deja Vu license. And that includes support since support is free. Now let's have a look at the summary. In this table, I have four lines for each tool and two columns, one uh, with support and the other one without support. So Studio, uh, we saw that uh, if you want to have uh, support, so what they call PSMA, every year you pay the yearly fee, you will end up paying in total 1,506 euros. But if you decide, like me, to only pay for upgrades and not support, so uh, and assuming that uh, they are going to have a paid upgrade every second year, then you will end up paying 1,062 euros. With MemoQ, uh, as we saw, you can only have support. It's not possible to have uh, both the latest version and no support. So they are bundled and, and you cannot unbundle them. So you will pay 600, uh, 961 and uh, this is not available. And WordFast, we saw that uh, we would pay 875 with support and without support that's uh, 300 less so that would be 575 and with deja vu we saw that uh, that will be with with support 648 and without it's the same because support is uh, included so that's the total cost of ownership of these uh, four tools over six years a six year period based on the assumptions I made. And uh, I would be very happy if you could tell me whether you agree or disagree with my assumptions, whether they're realistic or unrealistic, according to you. Please let me know and uh, let me know if you have uh, other comments as well.